Okay, what we're going to do here with the Dash 8, I'm going to show you how to run this uh, FMU or FMS as they call it, I believe it is. Uh, anyway, I'm going to refer to it as an FMU. Uh, click down here at the bottom and that'll bring it up and it'll check all the systems on the craft to make sure that they're all, they all get a pass. Once everything has a pass, click on the accept button and then we'll go down to our flight plan. Now nothing's there, so we're going to load a route from FS. And uh, right here, flight sim routes, just click on that if you've already saved some flight sim routes. And I want to go from Timmins to Toronto, so I'm going to scroll down here until we find the Timmins that I'm looking for. Awful pile of flights on flown, I think. <coughs> okay, Timmins to Toronto. We're going to accept that one, and there's our flight plan route. Now, to drop this and bring it up here, open up your throttle quadrant, click on the button here that says Map, okay? When we add that, the flight route's automatically put in here. So now we know what we've got. To change the distance, the range on that right now is 12.5 miles. You can move the range up and down here. Okay, so we can take it up to 50 miles, and there's our first three waypoints. Uh, I'm not sure if we can back out. Yeah, there you go. Three, four, and five. Now, if you go back into your FMU, there's three, four, and five. Uh, Frolk is going to be your first one, number three. You can see the magenta, and it's already highlighted in magenta. So the flight plan is in. Now, what I'm looking at is I want to go into Toronto by, uh, let's say, the WASI-2 approach. And the WASI-2 <coughs> approach for 24 right. Okay, so we're going to scroll down on our flight plan until we get down to YYZ there. And uh, YYZ we, we're not going to use because we're going to use an actual approach chart. So we're going to go into WASI first. Let's highlight this and put WASI in. Okay, we put it in here from the FMU keyboard and we're going to hit enter. And accept. And there's WASI into the flight plan. Now the next one in for 24 right after that is a two lot. So we'll put that in. enter and accept. So it's in. Now the next one in uh, on the waypoints is uh, EPDAL. So we're going to put that in. EPDAL and enter. So there's those uh, put in. Now when I go over to uh, my actual uh, ILS for uh, the runway 24 right, uh, I see there's a waypoint before Ebdal, which is PICMA. Uh, it's a DME, so we're going to put that in ahead of Ebdal, and we'll enter in PICMA. And enter, and accept. Okay, so now we've got PICMA in, we've got Ebdal. Uh, the next one after Ebdal on the way is uh, Noah. And we'll put uh, that in, in there, and enter, and accept. Now we're going to take a YYZ because we don't need that. Uh, Noah's going to bring us right in on the ILS for 24 right, and uh, we'll delete that. And it's flashing. Yes, we want to delete that, so that's out. And uh, we'll move back up, and there's our flight plan, and everything's in here. These will move along as you travel along the route. And the dash is strange. It'll take a while to come onto that route once you take off. Uh, by the way, the uh, the localizer frequency for 24 right is 109.3, which is already in. Uh, but if we wanted to do that, we could back that up with a right click. We'll change that and uh, we'll scroll this back to uh, 3. Uh, 109.3. And if we had to, we could click on that and it would flip it over. So we'll close that. <clears throat> Looks like we're ready to go. Uh, we'll give it five degrees of flaps. 
just to uh, give us an extra little lift. And we've already got 10,000 for an initial altitude set in here. And we might as well put our altitude select in now. And uh, we'll leave the autopilot for now. <coughs> and uh, let's go and see what happens here. And uh, airspeed is increasing. We'll swing that around. And we've got uh, 100 knots, 110, that should be fine. Okay, let's pull that up. And uh, just waiting for a positive rate, which we have now. And uh, we'll put the gear up. So that's it, we're off and uh, climbing up. So let's go back in now to our cockpit and uh, set our altitude. We'll click on autopilot. Altitude select, heading hold is already on automatically and we'll bring the nose up to uh, 2200 feet per minute. Quick little plane on the takeoff. Uh, bring our flaps up because we do have good airspeed now. And let's uh, get back on this track here by clicking auxiliary and nav. Okay, we've switched over now to nav and uh, it's banking to the left and getting on its turn. We'll take a look at that. And uh, we should have left Timmins behind us here somewhere. And there it is right there. So we're on the flight route. Uh, altitude is good. So we'll go back in and uh, set our final altitude for uh, uh, 20,000 feet uh, being a south uh, direction. Take that up to 20,000. Okay, so you'll see what I mean about the dash here. See how it's gone off course? Uh, but that'll start to swing around. Uh, going around now, it's getting itself lined up uh, with the flight course that we put in. And basically that's it. Uh, once it's flown all the way through on its flight course, uh, it'll follow it right in. Don't forget to set your uh, change your altitudes according to the chart. I think you want to cross WASI at 7,000 feet uh, if you're going for 24 right. And uh, once you've come in on your approach and you're at your 3,000 feet, and uh, by the ILS chart uh, it says that we'll hit the glide slope at 3,000 feet, uh, just a few miles off from NOAA. And uh, once you've got uh, uh, in on your 3,000 feet approaching, just click your uh, approach button here and uh, you'll see the localizer come up here and the glide slope and uh, of course once they change colors you're, you're in. Uh, don't forget to drop the gear, okay? Hope this helps. Cheers, talk to you later.